Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. We are back with our Farmer's Dynasty episode two, part two, second second time round. So we last um, had our previous episode end with just going on to fucking bed, going on for a wee fucking sleepy poos after we kind of explored, we'd done some... Um, repairs and we went and did our first quest to go get our tractor if you missed it so our food is you know been replenished our sleep is good still have a little bit of money we've got a good chunk of social points so i'm hoping that we can get a little bit more fucking dunzarinos today i'm just gonna turn this sensitivity down a little bit because it is quite quite wild woo damn okay i'm gonna need to turn it down a wee bit fucking more holy shit there we go that should be all right so let's go on i if we still do have repairs to do so we're gonna try to get them done especially while it's raining well, okay, it's just stop raining. All right, then. We'll get a wee too light. From what I remember, I think we've completely done the garage. We've completely done the house. And I think we completely did this. Yeah, that's like the vehicle shed. That's, I don't know what other fucking big oil type of fucking barn it is. We did our house, so we'll go maybe try to finish the the hens and the cow shed double check in all these are done because I can't remember might as well do this in one way past you know what I'm saying yeah have to go and finish Repairing the rest of these. So we've got some fencing to do, some walls, a lot of the roof. So I'm just going to go ahead, fly through getting that done, and I will be right back. Congratulations, your neighbours appreciate your work, and we've got 3,000 social points from fixing our hen house. So the next thing I want to fucking do then is get some fucking hens. Let's have a wee nosy about what needs done in the cow shed. Because I want to get all the repairs done and out of the way. So we can focus on the rest of what the game has to offer. Because I haven't played a lot of it. So I've gotten to the point where, you know, like, I'd gotten some chickens. And, like, I'd like, repaired everything. And I've talked to a couple people. But I hadn't, like done any like farm work in terms of like I haven't harvested and then like re the field or really made any money or got loads of moves or anything so I kind of want to push on ahead and try to get some of that done not quite sure how much needs repaired here but I'm sure I could also fly through this and come back when I'm done So we've finally completed all our repairs on our farm. Happy days. We've completed that quest, then the home sweet home quest. We've got our social points all sorted. So we're all done on Dostetto. Obviously I haven't missed anything. Or else we wouldn't have been able to do the quest. If you remember as well, last episode, I basically had said I was just going to sort of leave like the tra- Oh my god, why is it tipped over? Oh my god, I thought it looked like it fucking tipped over. <laughs> Never mind. Now the question is, what do we wish to do next? So let's go to the map. There's a nice lady by her- Oh shit. 
there's a nice lady by her farm. I kind of abandoned my pickup over here, if you remember as well. Don't want to be setting random waypoints. There's just a field. So this is the like next closest farm. So we'll venture on out, I guess. What direction am I going? Oh no! I'm the absolute best driver, aren't I? It's so hard to keep track of like playing so many different games though when like sometimes you're driving on the left hand side of the road, sometimes you're driving on the right hand side of the road and you're just like, oh lord help me. Yeah, we're going the right direction. So this must be her in front of us over to the right. So we'll go have a wee chit chat to her, see what she wants us to maybe do for her. She has some farm work or something for us to do or if we can earn ourselves a little bit of money that would also be very helpful. Maybe I should have gone up that way. Is there a car behind me now? There is. Fuck's sake. God damn it. But yeah, so if we end up even getting like a couple of bits of extra money, maybe not a piece of equipment, we could still use that then. Next quest, Clara's job. You notice a lady by her farm, perhaps it would be nice to say hello. We could go and use that money if we do end up getting paid. She's got some repair in there, doesn't she? I feel like maybe that's what we're going to end up doing. Although, are we, are we hen house? So like, good oh. to see you, sweetheart. Would you help me? Jesus. What can I do for you, ma'am? My brother is working abroad. He should have been back home a week ago. But he's still busy working. I need one of my fields plowed and cultivated. Will you do it for me, please? Use that old plow over there by the barn. You can keep it when you're done. My brother plans on buying a new one anyway. Hop it is. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. I was Clara about to say I like their little hen house thing. Even though it's like open and like wolves and shit could get in. It's like really open so they could just, you know, run away and disappear. But sure it is what it is. But then obviously I got too close and it fucking triggered me talking to her even though I wasn't ready. We're going to go on around here then and pick up a ply. We don't have a ply yet apparently or something. So she wants it plied and cultivated. And then we get to keep the ply. Which means we'll be able, oh my god, my fucking reversing is absolutely bloody atrocious. Oh my lord, help me please. Oh, I suck. Right, that should be fine. What field are we going to this one? I want the color to match. The color doesn't match. So she wants this plied and she wants it cultivated. So whether or not she has a cultivator here or then we have to seemingly drive back to go get our one. Um, who knows? But I will continue on because it is quite a sizable field and a wee baby ply. I'll get all this plowed at least and then I will be back to see what needs done next.
quest updated. To cultivate field, go to your own harrow and you'll find it by your barn. Right out. Well, if we get to keep this, I want to sort of put it somewhere where I'm going to drive out of here from, if that makes sense. Yeah, so like I'll put it right here or something. Unhitch. No. Lower. Unhitch. Why did it do that? Why do we have to be looking in that position for it to unhitch? Like that makes no sense. We'll drive on home. We'll get our own ply back. Probably this is the way I should have driven the first time round, but sure it is what it is. Not our own ply, our cultivator. Because apparently we own one. So she gives, like, we've got our tractor. If she gives us a ply and we have a cultivator, then we can basically 100% prep a field completely ourselves. But the issue is currently that we don't have a harvester. And we've got all this wheat growing. I assume it's wheat. Right, how am I going to get this attached with my terrible driving skills? without running over any of my fucking crap. Oh! Jesus, that deer fucking scared me. Look at that. Now we've got it back. We can go back to Clara and cultivate a feed. Grand! I have to say, I've been really, really relying on the cruise control just to save my hands from constantly having to like push in buttons because I play games so many hours a day anyway but yesterday obviously it won't be yesterday for you know when this is released on YouTube but uh, Saturday night I played a lot of Conqueror's Blade which is constant spam clicking and moving around and my hands are fucking killing me. It had been a very, very long time since I played a game like that. Woo! I'm paying the fucking price, so I'm taking it nice and easy and trying to get a wee um, ooh, nice. But we can still go 12 miles an hour. It's pretty handy. I'm still, I'm trying to get a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a respite, you know, like where I can. Um, this is probably going to take a while too. So we're going to go back in and speed all of this up and come back when it's all done and dusted and then hopefully we get to keep that plow. Clara now seems to be very fond of us because apparently we've completed it. It's annoying that like it'll tell you it's completed even if you actually haven't completely finished it. It's not even letting me finish it, which is annoying. Because now I just have this stupid fucking strip in the middle, but sure, if she's fucking happy, then whatever. Let's go back and talk to her then. Where is she? Oh shit. There we go. Who's that guy? Can I help you, sweetheart? I'm kinda green. Can you tell me a bit about field work? 
What? Sure. What do you need to know? Um. Do we not need to be like, hey, we've finished your stuff, can we keep that ply then, yeah? Anything more I need to know? Well, I'm not that educated. Try talking to other people if you wish to know more. Thanks. I'll see you around. What? Well, it's just saying, like, yeah, that's yours. Like, all right, but... I thought maybe it would be a bit more, um... I don't know. Like, go talk to her and be like, hey, that's done. And there's, like, a little bit of, like, a, a verbal exchange, shall we say? It was a bit of a fucking weird one, not gonna lie. But... I suppose maybe it does cut out like the back and forth of, you know, like they might have like somewhere that they like to, oh shit, Jesus. That was my fault for not fucking looking. Anyway, they might have like their farmhouse or you know whatever, like ages away from their actual like fields or something. So it just saves out a lot of that time of having to run like all the way back. I think I'm probably just gonna dump this here. And then we'll go back to get. Oh, big rock! We'll go back to get the plow. Still can't use the plow though. Because we need to somehow get a harvester first, but everyone kind of hints to you that you need to like continue talking to other people. So, what I might do is drive the plow back to our farm. We also need to check the greenhouse, if you remember, because I don't know how that works, but I know that I planted the stuff. We just haven't checked it. I don't know if I need to, like, water them. Like, I don't know what it is that I'm needing to do. Like, do we need to do it every couple of days, every day? You know, I'm not 100% sure. At least I looked that time. I don't know if they just, like, grow automatic. You know the way, like, here I right-click, it says 82% um, of the fuel. I'm not 100% sure if I'm able to, like, use that little engineer site kind of thing. And, um... Where's my, where's my cultivator go? Oh, it's there. Oh, I could probably do need to actually move this stuff then because it is like semi camouflage, but I'll do it another time for now. Whatever. Let's run in to our greenhouse then and check on these bad boys. They look like they're just little baby sprites at the minute. I don't know if it's going to like tell me. No. Just they're called seedlings. Remove seedlings. That's all it's telling me. Is it, it's knocking off itself? Is it knocking off itself because we don't want it to get too wet? We want it to be in that comfort level? Is that what, it, is that what it's saying? So we just need to maybe like keep an eye on them and come back in when that comfort level is maybe go under the yellow zone of dry. Maybe we need to do that. Hmm. We'll get in our pickup and we'll go, right, okay, we've actually got exclamation marks on people. You notice an old hay wagon by one of their barns that might be handy. See if you could earn it somehow. New quest available. Deliver spicy pumpkin soup. Plow the field. Don't know if that just gives me money though. Deliver 40 tomatoes. Fix one of the buildings. Drone race? I have no idea what that is. Talk to Steve and see if there's something you can do in exchange for an old green trailer. Trailer? What's the difference between a grain trailer? Right, so just one is for grain and one has to be completely separate for hay. Like you can't interchange them in this game. Go to church? Fuck off. Do I look like a holy woman to you? Well, I, technically I'm a man in this game, but whatever. 
Yes, I remember that from the last time. But hi. Right, that's the vehicle store. Gas station. More greenhouses. Um. Gas station. Building material. Right, but where do I go for livestock? I want to try to get some fucking chickens. I'm just gonna go up here. It's the closest one. We'll go and get in our pickup because it drives faster. And we'll go up. We do need to eat first though. I feel like that was coming up quite a lot. Um, there we go. We'll go back to our map, get into our pickup and try to figure out then how we're getting Oh shit! What's the best way for me to go? What direction is it? That way. Oh bollocks! Wrong fucking button. Damn that cruise control speed is fucking mighty high. Well loads of petrol though, so we're fine. I do want to like buy some metal and get our fences looking all pretty, but then I'm like, mm, should I do all the wooden stuff before I start doing metal stuff? Or does it fucking matter? Cause the fencing to me, like the outside perimeter to me is like the thing that I would imagine you'd want to kind of fix and sort out first. Does it want me to go up that way? That looks like someone's farm. Maybe we'll talk to them on the way back home. In case they have a job for us. But that one has a... How am I going to get hay though? Because I need to be able to harvest... No, it needs to go this way. How would, how would I get hay? Because I need to harvest my own stuff to then dry it out and turn it into hay, clearly. So would I not need the grain trailer first? And a harvester first? This does not look like the place where I would be buying fucking chickens. I don't know where to park. I'll just, I'll park here, I guess. Enter furniture store? Kitchen, bathroom, bit. No, definitely not. To buy a building material instead, look at it closely. Shingles. Ceramic tiles. Metal roof. Metal red roof. Wood glaze? What's that? Scratch coat? Finish coat? Mortar? Oh my god, this is com more complicated than I thought. Ooh, solar roof tile. Um, bricks, yeah, concrete plaster, ur bricks. Uh, what's that? Okay, um. Is there not just any fucking standard fucking wood? Right, okay, there we go. So maybe I'll just do like all the wood, rep like fixing first. It's not saying, like it's saying it's 167 quid for some wood planks, but it's not telling me how much I get from that. And what's that like compared to metal? Yeah, so metal's like twice the price. So I think I'll probably gonna end up doing all the wood planks first, but how, how do I buy chickens? New copy, new vehicles. Where do I buy chickens, man? Oh my lord, I don't know where to go. Oh. Seeds and agricultural equipment. Okay, so I did I did go the wrong way. 
My bad. Whee. Right, so I'm going here instead. Whoopsies! The good thing is this fucking thing flies. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. My amazing driving skills, you guys. Because, you know, it does go like 50 mile an hour. Well, I don't know what kilom I don't know what that is in miles an hour because it's saying kilometers per hour. I, I don't use that. We don't use that here. Um, it shouldn't take us too long to get there. When we do get there, what I'm looking for is to buy some fucking chickens. One of the reasons why I want to buy some chickens first as well is because I bought like that um, egg recipe book, if you remember. So like the eggs can sort of be like our a, not passive income to be not not income to begin with but like a way for us to like sustain ourselves without having to go buy food all the time because we're not really earning money i don't know if i've gone the wrong way or not and i don't know why you're fucking sitting there for move up okay it's taking longer to get here than i fucking thought Maybe I did go the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. It's fine. Woohoo! Every time I think, like, I have shit together and shit fucking sorted, I end up being a dum dum. And then every time I think I'm being a dum dum, it was actually fucking right. Oh, isn't that always the way? So, also let me know, guys, like, how did you find the length of the previous episode? Did you feel like, you know, just under an hour was, like, perfect? Did you feel like it was a bit too long? Did you feel like it was a bit too short? Would you rather have it, like, over an hour? Or do you want it to be, like, you know, that, that half an hour, 45 minutes kind of thing? Let me know in the comments. But I think we have got here. Don't know if I'm allowed... Oh, okay. Oh, it's like an automatic door. Okay. Agricultural store. So, wait. Grass, canola, blah, blah, blah. Animals and fertilizers. Yeah. Right, we'll get two. We'll get two hands. And we'll get... Oh, can I not, like, get this, like, exact? Because that's going to fry my head. Oh, come on. No, I don't want to fucking move as well. Go away. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Right, we'll go for 13 kilos then. You dick. Where do they, like, go? I don't know if they're back at the farm or not. We'll drive back and we'll find out. It is a longer drive than I anticipated. But we can maybe do some stops along the way of just driving up here and going to this person's farm. And um, I'll see you when we get there. So having just pulled up, I've realized this is fucking Oliver's farm. So we've already been here and helped him with stuff. I'm busy. All right, well, fuck you then. Hi there. Good evening, friend. Wonder if he has more work for me. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? No, not at the moment. Well, I got 44 social points for asking Thanks. him if he See needed anything. Around. So that's fucking decent enough. There was someone else here, though, yeah. Hello. Well, hello there. Why did that seem flirty to me? 
Did it hurt when you were falling from the sky? Oh my god. Is there something I can help you with? No, not at the moment. Alright. Good luck. See you around. I don't know if that's Oliver's wife or like it's his daughter or his sister or fucking what, you know? So, ooh, we definitely don't want to be using any like really cheesy pickup lines either because that's just not my style. And we'll go back. We'll see if these fucking chickens are here. I could not find anywhere to like, oh shit. Um them if that makes sense like it's not like they spawned out somewhere i don't know why i'm driving around this way Woo. i think we'll just always leave the pickup parked like that can we like repair the pickup no that's annoying Let's go see what our feed's like. Oh, there they are! Hi! Okay, so we have 113 kilograms, which is 11% of the food. Two of them shouldn't really be eating that fucking much, right? We'll keep this closed probably at all times now. Um, cause, oh, ah! You know what, they didn't do a bad animation at all. When it came to the chickens. It looks like we can store a lot of chickens though. Like one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three. So 15, 30. So 60 chickens can fit in here. That's fucking nuts. That doesn't seem... Good damn. How do I, like, it says keep this building in good shape so that your flock grows healthy, but how do I know if they're unhealthy? Like, do they just fucking die or what? Fuck knows. So we'll see, um, what ends up happening with them, whether or not, obviously they're not going to breed or anything, but do they give me eggs every day? Does it depend how, like, happy they are? Is that a thing? Um, if we're gonna do wood first, I'll probably start investing in the hen house, getting all that looking pretty first, and then maybe, like, this bit of fencing if there's, like, any leftover wood. But that's gonna cost a lot of money. On top of that, did I not read that book? You already know recipes from this book. So can I sell it back to the guy? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, hmm. I don't want to be spending money on, like, making things look pretty when I really need to be focusing on, if I do need to spend any money, it's on getting more income revenue streams coming into the farm. I think that's what is most important. Um. So... What we've done is we've repaired our hen house, we've repaired our cow shed, we've finished the home sweet home quest in terms of everything on the farm has been repaired. We've gone and done a wee job for Clara and we got ourselves a plow and then we also managed to get ourselves a couple of chickens to really start getting that ball kind of rolling so that we can feed ourselves and sustain ourselves in that way. We just need to keep on top of the weight. Next episode, I really need to be focusing on trying to get a harvester or something. Um, maybe doing some other quester, like delivering what was someone wanted, like 40 tomatoes or something, and someone wanted fucking soup, and their plow, their field plowed. So that might get us enough money to buy a harvester. There's not currently any quests that I can see that's saying about giving us a harvester, but maybe we'll do one of the um, trailer ones instead. And I hope you enjoyed this little baby episode. We made some, made some progress. Let us know in the comments below how long you want these to be. Are they already perfect for you? Do you want them longer? Do you want them shorter? 
And on that note, have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.